control a body and soul. Don't move too fast, people just take it slow. Don't get Pray Hard is a great program for our community. First of all, you can see over here we've got great participation from the local schools and the fact that it could bring the schools together is really, really special. Playing is great, but being able to infuse it with a little bit of spirituality, a little bit more meaning, is also something which takes it to a whole new level. Play Hard, Pray Hard is something which our community not only will benefit from right now, but it's part of building the Jewish community. Play Hard, Pray Hard is a great program, and we're so happy to have it here in Boca. As head of school at Donna Klein Jewish Academy, today is absolutely an extraordinary day to see Donna Klein Jewish Academy and Hillel come together in this incredible program that is truly, truly transformative for the students inside and out. The kids and the teachers and the Jewish leaders in our community so excited to be here, understanding this unity of everyone in shirts together, playing together, working on this aspect of bringing prayer and sports together. Tyler Field, I'm in seventh grade at Donna Klein Jewish Academy, and um, uh, Pray Hard, Play Hard is really fun because I love playing basketball, and three on three is really fun. And it's a great way to show how basketball and prayer connect. I love playing against the Hillel girls, it's so much fun That's interacting nice. with other schools, they're so nice. Hi, I'm Nichelle, I'm from Hillel. Hi, I'm Sydney from Hillel. I'm Yael from Hillel. Uh, and this uh, experience is so amazing. Thank you so much for bringing uh, Play Hard, Pray Hard to for us. When Rob spoke to me about, about his idea, I said, I want to be involved with this. I think it's a great idea and it's a great concept and we all need to play hard and pray hard. Great to see two schools coming together and playing sports and having a great time there for me. So I reached out to my dad and I told my dad, Dad, I changed my life and I want you to experience some of this. So it took a while, but my father finally started to come to synagogue with me. And he started to become inspired and he saw what I saw and started to experience what I was experiencing. He said, I was so proud of you when you played for the Green Bay Packers. He said, I know, Dad, you've told me so many times, but it was a long time ago. He said, just listen to the story. I said, okay, Dad. He said, man, when you had that Packer helmet on your head, that was fantastic. But when you went down to play for the Dallas Cowboys, that was incredible because they had such success and you got to experience a Super Bowl victory. I was so proud of you with that Dallas Cowboy helmet on your head. But when I look at you today with the yarmulke on your head, I'm more proud of you. 